Have you ever wondered how objects can interact without actually touching each other? This fascinating phenomenon is known as action at a distance. But how does it work? Historically, action at a distance was the earliest way scientists explained gravity and electricity. Newton's law of universal gravitation and Coulomb's law of electric forces both rely on this concept. They describe how objects can exert forces on one another even when they're far apart. But wait, there's more. In the 19th and 20th centuries, scientists developed field models to explain these phenomena with more precision. The discovery of electrons and the theory of special relativity brought new insights. These helped create alternative models to action at a distance. Now, in our modern understanding, we have four fundamental interactions in physics, gravity, electromagnetism, the strong interaction, and the weak interaction. These aren't described by action at a distance anymore. Instead, we use field theories to explain how particles and forces interact. In the early decades of the 20th century, brilliant minds like Carl Schwarzschild, Hugo Tetrode, and Adrian Fokker independently developed models for action at a distance that were consistent with special relativity. This was a game changer. Fast forward to 1949, and we see John Archibald Wheeler and Richard Feynman building on these models to develop a groundbreaking field-free theory of electromagnetism. While Maxwell's field equations were generally successful, they faced mathematical difficulties when dealing with the self-energy of a moving electron. The self-energy issue made the math, well, infinite. Enter the Wheeler-Feynman absorber theory of electromagnetism. This theory cleverly avoids the self-energy problem. They interpreted the Abraham-Lorentz force, which appears to resist electron acceleration as a real force returning from all the other existing charges in the universe. But wait, there's more. The Wheeler-Feynman theory has inspired new thinking about the arrow of time and the nature of quantum non-locality. Its implications reach far beyond electromagnetism and have even touched cosmology and quantum mechanics. John G. Kramer took these ideas further to create the transactional interpretation of quantum mechanics. This interpretation offers a fresh perspective on how particles interact across distances. Imagine every interaction as a handshake across time and space. And in 1947, Albert Einstein wrote a letter to Max Born, expressing his discomfort with certain aspects of quantum mechanics. In this correspondence, Einstein coined a phrase that has since become legendary, spooky action at a distance. But what exactly did Einstein mean by this? He was referring to the strange and seemingly inexplicable correlations between physically separated measurements of entangled quantum states. These correlations, predicted by quantum mechanics and verified by numerous experiments, defy our classical understanding of the universe. Unlike Newton's gravitational force, which can be understood as a direct interaction between masses, this spooky action at a distance involves observed correlations that challenge simple interpretations of quantum mechanics. It's as if particles, once entangled, continue to influence each other instantaneously, no matter how far apart they are. Imagine two particles that are entangled. If you measure the state of one particle, you instantly know the state of the other, even if they are light years apart. So what does this mean for our understanding of the universe? In the realm of quantum field theory, the concept of action at a distance becomes obsolete. Instead, QFT describes the universe at its most fundamental level using four essential forces, each mediated by specific particles known as bosons. Two of these forces are short-range the strong interaction, which is mediated by mesons, and the weak interaction, mediated by weak bosons. The other two are long-range electromagnetism, mediated by photons, and gravity, which is hypothesized to be mediated by gravitons. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. In advanced modern particle physics, the idea of force itself takes a back seat. Instead, energy becomes the cornerstone of our physical models. The term action in this context doesn't imply a force in the traditional sense, but rather refers to a specific technical concept, an integral over the difference between potential and kinetic energy. This shift in understanding marks a significant evolution in how we perceive the fundamental interactions that govern the universe. By focusing on energy and its transformations, Quantum field theory provides a more comprehensive and unified framework for explaining the intricate tapestry of reality. As we've journeyed through the realms of quantum entanglement and quantum field theory, we've uncovered the intricacies of forces and their mediators. 
Now, let's take a step back and explore how these concepts fit into the broader categories of action in mechanics. In the study of mechanics, action at a distance is just one of three fundamental actions on matter that cause motion. The other two are direct impact, which includes both elastic and inelastic collisions, and actions in a continuous medium as seen in fluid mechanics or solid mechanics. Historically, our understanding of physical phenomena has oscillated between these three categories as new models and theories emerged. Action at a distance and actions in a continuous medium are easily distinguishable when the medium dynamics are visible, like waves in water or disturbances in an elastic solid. However, when it comes to electricity or gravity, no visible medium is required. In the 19th century, scientists used various criteria to argue against action at a distance. These included the effect of actions on intervening matter, the observation of a time delay, the apparent storage of energy, and even the possibility of a plausible mechanical model for action transmission. Ether theories emerged as alternatives, proposing a continuous action within an invisible medium called ether to explain gravity and electromagnetism. Direct impact of macroscopic objects seems visually distinct from action at a distance. But when we delve into the atomic level, where atoms interact through electric and magnetic forces, the distinction becomes less clear. As we continue to advance in our understanding of the universe, these categories of action remind us of the diverse ways in which matter and energy interact. Whether through direct impact, continuous mediums, or the enigmatic action at a distance, the quest to unravel these mysteries continues to push the boundaries of science. In conclusion, the concept of action at a distance has evolved significantly from classical mechanics to modern quantum physics. From Newton's gravitational force to the mysterious quantum entanglement, the journey has been fascinating, but what does the future hold for our understanding of action at a distance? As we continue to delve into the mysteries of the universe, emerging theories and technologies will likely provide new insights. One area of intense research is quantum computing, which leverages the principles of quantum entanglement to perform computations far beyond the capabilities of classical computers. This rapidly advancing field could revolutionize how we process information and understand the fundamental forces of nature. Additionally, the exploration of dark matter and dark energy, which make up most of the universe's mass energy content, may shed light on new forms of action at a distance. These mysterious components of the cosmos could reveal previously unknown forces or interactions, deepening our comprehension of the universe. As we push the boundaries of scientific knowledge, international collaborations and advanced technologies such as the Large Hadron Collider and space telescopes will play crucial roles. These tools allow us to probe deeper into the fabric of reality, potentially unearthing new principles that govern action at a distance.